In this video, we're going to show you how to make your next ceramic tile project a little easier to do. Leveling systems are a simple way to get the job done like a pro. Here are a few items you'll need. For this DIY project, we'll be jumping right in with the tile installation. To find out how we got here, check out our video on how to install ceramic tile flooring, then head back here to follow along. The steps we're going to show you should be performed simultaneously, so you don't have to walk over freshly laid flooring. We suggest working two or three tiles at a time. First, we'll go in with our mortar. Spread it along the layout lines. You'll want to lay down enough mortar to cover the space of about two to three tiles at a time. Then, use the notched edge of a trowel to rake through the mortar to create ridges. Your trowel lines should all be in the same direction. We'll be laying the tiles one at a time and installing leveling clips as we go. Before you add clips or lay additional tiles, make sure to remove excess mortar. Now, slide two leveling clips beneath your tile so they're firmly embedded in the mortar. Place these clips about two to three inches from the corners. If you're using larger tiles, you might need to use three clips per side. Following the reference lines, place a ceramic tile onto your mortar and gently press down. If you're working with tiles that have sides larger than 12 inches, it's a good idea to apply a thin, even coat of mortar on the back. Install the next tile so that it touches the clips, making sure the feet of the clips are well covered with mortar. Once you've placed two or three tiles, it's time to insert the wedges into the clips. Ensure your leveling system pliers are set to the correct length. Using your fingers, insert a wedge ever so gently into a clip. Grab your pliers to tighten until the tiles are even and aligned. These wedges should be snug and tricky to move, but not too tight. That could cause the clip to snap. Repeat the process for each tile. Keep in mind that when you're installing wedges, mortar will probably squeeze out. Just have a bucket of water, a damp sponge, and a small brush nearby to wipe it off before moving on. Let everything dry for at least 24 hours or follow the manufacturer's guidelines. Now, remove the leveling system. Tap down on the clips and wedges with a rubber mallet, or just use your boots to kick them out. Make sure you're working in the same direction as the joint. Some clips may be tricky to remove. Hold the utility knife at a slight angle, then cut the clip as low as you can go. If a small portion is left behind, use long nose pliers to remove it. Make sure that there isn't any mortar blocking the joints or overflowing next to the tile. Remove excess with a putty knife. Once dry, wipe down the tiles with clean water so the grout is easier to spread. Pour the grout onto the tiles, take a rubber float and hold it at a 45 degree angle, vigorously working it into the joints one section at a time. Wipe off excess grout with a sponge, keep a bucket of water nearby to rinse the sponge often. Let dry according to the package instructions. See how easy it is to bring your room to the next level? Like this video? Subscribe to our channel, follow us on social media, and visit our website for more helpful DIY content.